and welcome to Animal Crossing Addict Stream. I'm your host, Vinny Early Sauce, and with me is a cup of coffee. <clears throat> Vinny, did you just wake up? No, about two hours ago. Hour and a half ago. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Um, I want to do Animal Crossing early. One, because I'm fucking bored. And I'm not going anywhere. Clearly. Two, because I want to see what the game is like early. And I want to get my house. And enjoy. And then later on, I'll be streaming other things. But I figured today would be, you know, early Animal Crossing. Take a break, relax, and then... I'll stream my uh, VR and RimWorld later. I have a cup of coffee that I made. And my cups of coffee usually end up being way stronger than what I get at any deli or, you know, coffee salesman. So I'm, I'm wondering, is that going to work well with Animal Crossing if I'm all fucking hyper? Probably not. Um, Vinny, is this the second or third stream? What, uh, Animal Crossing? This is the third. So my house should be built by now. Um, welcome, good afternoon, good evening, if you're in the evening. But, otherwise, good afternoon if you're anywhere near me in life. Stunning news, it's raining like a motherfucker. Oh, we're moving forward with construction of the Hoor Island Museum. Neither Blathers nor I imagined we'd be getting ready to build a museum on his very first day on the island. I'm sure most of you did the exact same thing. We're very grateful. Very grateful. For everyone's cooperation. Anyway, we've started construction for the museum at this very spot where Blathers had his tent. Uh, that's not exactly where I wanted to have Blathers' museum, but... So sorry to inconvenience you all like this today. It is a shame to suspend your scientific endeavors. However, I hope having our splendid new museum completed by tomorrow will make up for this little setback. Aw, oh, man. Or well, you can move it later, okay. This little message, Blathers asked me to pass it on to all of you. Alright, good, thank you. Yeah, it's just one of those, uh... Days where I can't catch fish and bugs. Oh wait, I can! I can stack them. Outside. Anyway, Addict Stream continues with, um... I have a house now. These wooden stakes are just so pointless. I don't even know how they do that. They're supposed to be staked in there. All right, Snakey. Happy Home Academy. We want to help your home look the best that it can be. Look for messages from us as you hone your home decorating skills. As you home your home decorating skills. You can store the fish and bugs in house storage now. Thank God I have house storage. Holy fuck. I already have way too many flowers that I don't know what I'm going to do with. Let's see, what did I get here? I got a present. Wooden low table. Yeah, wooden low table. Also, these stakes are just pointless. I'm getting rid of them. Um, they're, they're just cluttering. Durian plant. Garden lantern. All oh, right, this is my order. Let me disinfect the box real quick. Well, let's- let's see what my new home looks like. Turn lights on or off, enter decorating mode, open storage. Cool. You can 
can open your pockets to select furniture or other items to put in storage. Storage. So, for example... Oh, I see. Okay, so now I can... Put in storage. Put in storage. Didn't the touchscreen come into play here on the 3DS version when they updated it? The doll moved. I swear that doll did not move. No way. Chat, it's moving. I'm not even touching it. Okay, so now, again, with touchscreen, not a thing in this game, this is gonna be a little harder. Excuse me, that was Scoot. Speaking of Scoot, I got, um, many tweets showing me this horrendous video. And I feel like this is a personal attack. I don't know why they picked on him specifically, but this is kind of going around. I hate it. And also, someone tweeted at me... ...something kind of amazing. Let me read this to you. Um, shh, no one tell Vinny that Scoot isn't in Animal Crossing New Horizons. He'll be devastated. And then he, you know, tagged me and my and the Vine Sauce account, right? Below that is a tweet saying, "He exists. Our boy Scoot exists," linking to a picture of Scoot. And then above that is a letter from Scoot that someone got. And then right above that is Scoot getting hit with with nets. So the fun never ends. Um. Yeah. Fun never ends. I need some real furniture, chat. It's not like... It's not like I don't already have things on cardboard boxes in my house, because I do. There... Uh, I do, sadly. But, I would like, um, you know, better furniture. Uh, we, we're gonna, we're gonna put that in storage, okay. Put in storage. Put in storage. Anything non-essential right now is going in storage while I figure out what I'm going to do next with my non-real life. Succulent. See why I'm gonna need a Nocarina unless a moon is falling to Animal Crossing land uh, anytime soon. I don't think I need that in my pocket. Tarantulas are 8k a pop. Oh. Well, I still I need to donate that to Blathers tomorrow. But if I see another one, I'm gonna return to my house. There's gonna be like a hundred little baby tarantula. It's gonna be disgusting. And it's all because I thought it would be a good idea to keep it in my storage unit. Well, we can do some fishing and, and bug catching, even though I have to put these in storage until tomorrow. You can get prehistoric fish in this weather? Mate. What do you mean, prehistoric fish? The... Oh, the coal can... Right, I remember that one. Yes! Cut a bluegill, do you think it calls me pink lung? Ah...
I don't know how to say co coelocanth. Coelocanth. I probably was corrected on that when I played Animal Crossing previous. Which was the name of Animal Crossing New Leaf. It was just Animal Crossing previous. Yeah, Money Rock. Excellent. Blathers will always identify fossils. Oh. Gonna, um, sell some coconuts. Oh! I got a letter from Scoot. No, wait, I don't know who this is from. It's from Twiggy. I was lay relaxing yesterday while reading com- while reading comics, when I thought of this recipe, it's too good to keep to myself. So I threw it in a bottle to share. Why not just post it on fucking Animal Crossing Twitter? Or in this case, Animal Crossing Reddit. Lay log bed. Fucking the fishing and the bug catching is is good. What did it say? Uh, I didn't even read it. Chat, what was the snail pun? Not much to brag about. Are you kidding me? I'd brag about that snail. It's a good snail. Hey Louie, what are you doing out in this weather? Hey, yo, hoo -ha, you good? Hey, hey, you working up a good sweat there? Don't forget to stay hydrated, hoo hoo ha. What do you need? Hey, I heard your tent finally hit the gym and bulked up to a house. Congrats, hoo hoo ha. I'm thinking I might drop some time to check in on your free weight situation. Check, keep an eye out. I, what? I have no... None of that. Um, people telling me there's a way to clone items. I didn't know about it. I'm, I don't think I'll be doing that. Just, um... Just to let you know. I've waited too long for this game to enjoy it as played to clone items now. You know, maybe like a year from now. But, uh... You know, thanks for the heads up. Oh, look at that. That museum is gonna be fucking massive. Snail 2. An even better game than Snail 1. I like how I'm approaching it slowly, like the snail is going to escape. It's not much to brag about. Is that supposed to be a joke? It's beautiful. I need a new fishing rod because there's a pond fish that looks rather interesting. Oh, it's because it's slow? It's nothing to brag about. It's slow, so catching it is not really hard. Oh, okay, well... I mean... What if it's a nice snail, and you want to brag about how cool your snail is? Sure, it wasn't difficult, but... I get it now. I am laughing. <laughs> More coffee, please. There was a massive fish in the ocean. Yeah, I, I need to build another fishing rod, like, ASAP, because the fishing's probably real good right now. 
Someone said, where do you get the pole? I still don't have mine. Um, Blathers gives it to you, so you gotta get that motherfucker. I don't know why I'm cursing him out. He's been- he's been good to me. I have enough inventory room to catch a couple things. Like, barely, but I want to maybe catch that ocean fish. And of course I want to catch... ...that pond fish, which is the first time I've seen a fish in a pond in New Horizons so far, in my experience. Slug juice. Speaking of slug juice, Carl Pilkington is doing Rockbusters again. He said we need to keep our minds from going to mush. Says the mush man. Um, as he's making new Rockbusters. Sea bass. Yeah. Already got one of those. I'll, I'll sell. I'll sell that one. Someone said my one complaint about this game is the repetitive music. Yeah, I kind of miss... the, um... Hourly music. Where is wh what's going on with that? I want that. Is not in this game. You get it later. Oh, okay. Well, that's a strange unlock, but I'll take it. Once you get town hall, cool. The fish is decidedly smaller. ...than the one that was here before. It's gonna be trash, isn't it? No! Oh, it's a little, uh... ...pop-eyed goldfish. It looks so surprised. I thought it was gonna... ...do a joke about spinach. Someone said in chat they've been looking for this fucker. Really? So if it says yes, I, I just put this together. I'm a dummy. If it says yes when you catch a fish, that means it's a new one. Yes! Still got it. Earn bells by selling items. That shouldn't be too hard. DIY projects, that's- that'll be fairly easy, too. Oh, we can sell a couple things. Get the snail that's on the rock. I have two snails now. There he is, Nuke. So you see, since the number of homeowners is increasing, I agree that we need to build a shop. However, when it comes to building supplies, our customers' homes should take priority. I have every confidence that you'll find a way to handle this little puzzle. The two of you have been training under me for how many years now? Hmm? This should be a piece of cake. Well, hello there, Vine. I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna have to get the materials myself, aren't I? You happy with your home? Is it meeting your expectations? I bet you'll be a lot more comfortable now. Give more money plus, and then I will give bigger house. Houses are so different from tents, hmm? You can freely change up the flooring and wallpaper, and you've got some built-in storage so you can put away any furniture you aren't using. Oh, yes, there's more. All homeowners are automatically registered with Happy Home Academy. The HHA, as we call it, will evaluate your home on a regular basis and send you helpful advice. We can even send rewards to members whose homes achieve high ratings. Their evaluations won't intrude on your day-to-day -day life, so there's no need to worry. Just enjoy the fun. Which brings us to... 
Your new home loan, that'll be 98,000 bells. Can I pay in miles? I'm sorry, that was a special offer that only applied to your initial getaway. Package fees. Uh, you'll have to make loan payments with bells now. Yes. But don't worry, you can pay in installments, big or small. Payments can be made using AD ABD feature of Nookstop. I think that's everything. Uh, a nice surprise, I hope you're ready for this. It's a premium miles redemption item, a Nook Miles ticket. Oh, right, we can go to another island today. Nook Miles ticket is a special travel voucher. We did this last night, and you can only get by redeeming Nook Miles. It's a conundrum, huh? We want to improve our island, but still hold on to that deserted island magic. Now you can do both. You can use one of these tickets to do some island hopping adventuring. Go anytime you want! Hey, we look at me, sir. Two characters, I gotta hurt you. For DIY projects, your trip is yours to enjoy in the way you like. Scoot will be on the next island. Guaranteed. I've left your ticket at the counter in the airport, so use it whenever the travel mood strikes. Now then, go enjoy your life in your freshly built home, indeed. Vinny, how do you take your coffee? Like, two, two sugar, two or three sugar, depending on how much coffee there is. Um, and I like half and half. I can do black coffee too, but I'd prefer not to. Orally or rectally? <laughs> I had, uh, um, I inject it between my toes. Excuse me. Excuse me, hi, my name is... Footman Feet and Fiendo, and I'd like to make a movie about your life, okay? It's a bit of a proposal, so if now's not a good time, I understand. Um, what, what do you got? What's, what's up, Timmy? I'll get right to the point. I'm hoping you might be interested in collaborating on a new venture, building a new shop. Our little island community is growing and needs are growing too. I'd love to offer a much wider inventory of goods, but as you can see here, I'm a bit limited. I've already spoken to our fearless leader, of course, and he agrees that we have a need. A mighty need. Uh, but here's the thing, building materials can are hard to get. So, can we set them aside for building a shop? I really don't see it, since we'll need those materials for residential projects, but I have an idea. Yes, you can gather up the materials from around the island, from trees, rocks. Our environmental review even suggests there will be zero impact to native flora and fauna. We need a lot of materials for a proper shop, and we will, of course, offer compensation for your efforts. Alright. I know this is a lot, but I put together a list of items I'd like for you to gather. 30 pieces of each. Oh, the iron nuggets are gonna be the hardest. Wood, hardwood, softwood, and 30 iron nuggets. Any island, you can gather these materials at your own pace. Once you have a set of something, come see me. Shit, man. That's a lot. Well, I am offering you a sea bass, a black bass. I'm offering you a snail, a weed, coconuts. I already have a snail. We have two snails. 2060. Yeah, sure. I need another 3000 to get miles. Um, uh, what's for sale? What are you selling, Timmy? You got anything good? You got a sleeping bag. That's mm. camp stove? No. This is lame. Man. You gotta do better than that. Vinny, I sent you a very important QR pattern. Um, can't do yet. Can't import QR patterns yet. Vinny, how many stram strams, sorry, streams do you plan on doing for this game? Precisely 23. On the app you can? Oh, okay. Alright, well, I'll do that later then. Not now. B before next time I stream this. Precisely 23. And only 23. I know exactly how many streams of a game I'll do from the moment I start the game.
Why only 23? Well, you see, it's a number I pulled out of a very important orifice. It, I call it my oracle orifice, or in other words, my asshole. My ass! Someone just said, dude, you're wasting entire days of your life with escapism. <laughs> That's good. That's... I mean... I give it to you, that was pretty good. All these lads in storage. Touchscreen is definitely faster for this. There's, uh, man, an auto sort would be nice, but uh. good things in store. Oh. Hold A to move items. Oh. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, I guess in previous Animal Crossing, you didn't really need to move stuff around as much. Because your inventory space was so fucking limited. You just had to put it in letters and... Keep them in your letter hole. Well, we gotta get to chopping. I saved up a bunch of wood yesterday. So, we're at least halfway there. Oh, we're living on a prayer. Definitely gonna need some better tools. In fact, 3,000 miles I can get that recipe book for better tools. I saw the glowy spot. Cool. Now, I know people are gonna tell me to bury this. But, I need to bury how much to make a money tree? Is it... 10k? It's 10k. Max is 10,000. Okay, cool. Not worth doing it yet? Yeah, maybe not. You get three times that back. Yeah, it's worth it, I think. Hang on a second, chat. Be right with you. I will be muted for a moment. Chat, it was Tom Nook. It was him.
He said miles aren't enough. I need to pay back the tent. With blood. <laughs> Goodbye, snail. Try to find some tree furniture while I'm out here, I guess. Tree furniture is my favorite furniture. I want a toilet to drop from a tree or a balloon, and I'd be very happy. Attention, Vine Sauce Gamers. It's me, Tom Nook. And I'm asking for your help. That's why I need you to get those parents' credit cards and get them wacky digits. Pay off your, pay off your home and upgrade it and upgrade it and upgrade it until you can't upgrade anymore. Oh, and don't forget the three wacky digits on the back, either. I guess I can almost get my, um... I just need to do one more task. Chat, one more. Okay, so maybe a, a Nook Miles Plus. Sell clumps of weeds. That's easy. We'll, we'll do that. And then I can get, um, advanced recipes. Vinny, take a picture? Shaded floor lamp, that seems cool. What's the picture button again? Oh, on the phone, right, the phone, 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 phone. May as well get a good one. Yo. No. No, Louie. Louie, please. Louie. Louie. This dude does not want to be on camera. Fuck. Louie, no. Louie. Come on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's fine. Good enough. I got it. I got the photo. That's all I needed. Louis doing his best to social distance, and here I am. Heard that shit. Clearly, I'm gonna voice crack, but I'm also not gonna shoot that over a river. I just sounded like the kid from Galaxy Quest that's like, Hey, Commander! Um... The NCSC protector in the corridors! Me and my friends were arguing about the warp nacelles! Just a show, kid. Right. Enter the frame, first thing I see is Louie ass. Then you get miles if it falls in a river? Something, at least. Wait, what? I, depth perception is failing me right now, chat. There you go. Holy tights? It's just a pair of socks on a balloon. Alright. Remove pant. Wait. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> New outfit acquired. <laughs> Yeah, I think Louie would appreciate this outfit. Alright. That really is penis music. I'm sorry. Yeah, I already made the Venus music joke. I know. Fucking hilarious. Vinny, to be fair, it's weird that you're the only one wearing pants in this game. Didn't think of it like that. Vinny, if you carry a net while shaking trees, you can catch them before they f they sting you. Yeah, literally, exactly that just happened. Except I failed at catching the bee. The wasps. Like, that's, that's exactly what I tried to do, but just failed miserably at it. You ran away first? Don't move next time, just mash A. Oh, 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 okay. Alright, I see. That's, that's good advice. Maybe it's good advice, I don't know. People are telling me to... ...not run away from wasps. Video games don't cause violence. Video games cause kids to... ...not run away from wasps in real life. It's weird because I've seen, like, a crossover of people that I've known for years that don't even play video games that are like, What is Animal Crossing? And someone please tell me why I should get it. And I was tempted. I was like, should I bother telling them? Like, the fact that we have this, uh, stay home don't go anywhere kind of thing happening right now. I think people are looking for something to do, and Animal Crossing is just so fucking popular these days that it's crossing over into real life. Tell them Animal Crossing is the Seinfeld of video games. Oh my god. Someone just said, real life is gone. Jesus. Everything that has been uttered on this stream in the past 60 seconds... ...has given me a new perspective on life. Nah, I'm just kidding. I mean, this really is just replacement life. That's more rewarding. And every time you do something, you get miles. In real life, every time you do something, you just get tired. Get this new boot goofing with a pair of holy tights. Someone said just go get a drink and go to VR chat if you need to socialize. Exactly. I have everything I need now. 
I can't wait to go into VR chat and see scummy Kermits doing a bit for their streams. That's gonna be a real natural, cool, nice, normal conversation. That's actually exactly what happened when I got my VR, my Valve Index. I went and checked it out again. I was like, okay, I haven't done this in years. And I'm not all that interested in VR chat, and I'm kind of over it, but I want to see what it's like in VR. So I go in, every room I went into, except like two, had a scummy Kermit in it. Everyone was a comedian, everyone was doing a voice, everyone was a Ralph Bluton. And I'm like, I'm too old for this shit, Riggs. There was a Daphne Shaggy hybrid that would corrupt every time they spoke. I remember that. Vinny, you're living on Hoor Island. You're not too old for anything. Okay, fair. You called me out. You got me. Shagney. Yeah, Shagney. Do these break? They still break. They just last longer. A lot longer. Yeah. I have to use an iron nugget and a flimsy axe. You know what? Sure. It's only one iron nugget. We're gonna go to another island and... We'll get the iron we need. Be careful, the axes cut trees down. Okay. I want, um, to keep one flimsy axe on me then. Stone axe doesn't cut trees. Press A a bunch while crafting. I keep forgetting to do that. Mental. Stone axe doesn't. Right, so the stone- I should keep a stone axe on me then. Is what you're saying. For resources. Resources. We're done for now. Okay. There's a different stone axe, not flimsy. Oh fuck, really? Shit. I guess I totally missed that. Oh yeah. Well, I needed a flimsy one anyway. Cool. Nice. Just completed a fuckload of these things. What's this one? Plant trees. Spend bells to buy items. Earn bells by selling items. Sell clumps of weed. Catch fish. We can do that later, maybe. I got, um, an outdoor table. From a tree. So let's see, this was in a tree, everybody. Oh, it's one of those tables, yeah. The ones where you open them up and there's spiders living inside them? Those are fun. And a shaded floor lamp. Or beer pong table. Yeah, it's a folding table. That's right. Oh, 
That was also in a tree. Can I... I can hang socks on walls? Hang on wall. Why would I do that? That's, that's weird. Or Santa. Alright, fair enough. You get it's a good answer. Says the guy dressed like that. I'm dressed like a twat, so what? I am um proud of my twatage. Again, I can't say twat like I grew up saying. Yes, I grew up saying the word twat, I know. Well, I mean maybe that'll explain why I'm the way I am. Because, uh, those from England get real upset with me because it's not twat. It is twat. Very important distinction, you know that. Come on, you know, as Liam Gallagher would say. Dude's going mental on Twitter. Fucking dude grew a full mountain man beard. He's been in quarantine for a total of six days, and now he looks like a mountain man. You gotta see this. I mean, he's been just spouting nonsense and getting drunk and, and, like, talking about how he wants to hang out with, um, his brother and get Oasis back together right before calling him a potato again. But then, then you have this. Someday you will find me caught beneath the landslide In a champagne soap and over in the sky Wash your hands, you little fuckers Okay, now that one I haven't seen, actually. Sopernova, he says. Haven't seen that one. The one I saw was... This... this how many of these songs is he doing? I need to be myself. I can't be no one else. I'm feeling so personic. Give me gin and tonic. Oh my god. You can have it all, but how much do you want it? Wash your hands, you little fuckers. I need to be. Dude is, is sloshed. There's another one. 1.4 million views. What is going on with this guy? Today's gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. By now you should have somehow realized what you got to do. Wash your hands, scrub your toes, scratch your ass and pick your nose. Come on, you know. Are you fucking kidding me? What is wrong with this guy? This guy is so fucked up right now, it's amazing. He grew a full beard. He's wearing the hat that I have in Animal Crossing. What did he say? Scrub your toes and wash your ass? How do you realize what you got to do? Wash your hands, scrub your toes, scratch your ass and pick your nose. That's not good advice, actually. You don't want to scrub your ass and then pick your nose. That's exactly how you get it. Don't do that. Yeah, he's lost his mind. Sorry, everybody. We lost him. Liam. What? He's off someplace in the mountains, living with goats. And the thing is, I'm not even all that surprised. This is pretty normal, standard Liam Gallagher behavior in the, in the grand scheme of things. I also need to, Who is him? Oh, he is from uh, Oasis. He's the frontman of the band... O was the frontman of the band Oasis. Um, before he threatened to kill his brother uh, by throwing his guitar against a wall or something. Can't use this item right now. I don't want to use it. I just want to equip it. How do I put this away? I need to put this away. Gotta leave the house again. How would throwing a guitar kill his brother? I think... I, I don't know the full story, but I believe on the last tour they did... The idea was, he threatened to break the guitar over Noel's face. 
If you hit someone in the fucking head with a guitar, you you might be able to uh, do some serious big damage. Yeah, I mean, I don't know the full story. I, in fact, I'm uh, very much getting the details wrong. But then Noel, they were supposed to do a show, and Noel was like, "Nah, I'm done," and he just quit Oasis. And they haven't been together for over ten years now. And and they just have Twitter wars. They literally just fight on Twitter and, and Liam calls his brother a potato. And then sings Oasis songs about washing your ass. Scratching your ass, sorry, scratching. Bug. Is that another? Pill bug again. Oh. Be free. He said toes, not ass. He said ass and toes, which I can't believe I just uttered on this stream, but yes, he did. Frog, I haven't seen you today. Yo, you know, it's Liam Gallagher's <laughs> frog. Come on, you know. What's the word? Oh yeah, I heard you were getting stuff together for a shop. That's right. Huh, I knew it. Well, thanks for doing your part for Whore Island. <laughs> I myself am something of a whore. <laughs> got an idea, if you've got gathering stuff for a shop. They got you gathering stuff for a shop, you might want this. I think you're probably gonna need that more than me. Give it a swing, you know. Thanks. What'd you give me? stone axe. Well, thanks. Come on, you know, step right up. Hey, Vine, congrats on the house. Looks like Tom Nook really came through for you. So what's it like inside? You better invite me over soon, you know. In character. Hey, you know. Seems like every time I see a rare bug, I end up scaring it off. I know you're supposed to creep up on him nice and quiet, but that just ain't my style. Next time, though, I'm gonna roll up on that bug so fast it won't know what caught it, you, you know? Is that her hair or skin markings? Oh uh, god, don't ask questions like that if you don't want the answers. There was a horrible accident in the salt mines many years ago. Another balloon? A surveillance camera. That's a good find. Fucking perfect. How much wood? Still need some hard wood and some regular wood. Yes, there is a difference. Big Fish. Good movie, by the way. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. Watch that movie again one day. It's one of the last Tim Burton movies I actually gave a fuck about. Let's 
sea bass. Black bass. Alright, why would it be a sea bass? It's not the sea. This is a tributary. Why would it be? Oh, fucking hell. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about the bees. When I go into the ring menu, does that freeze the bees? Do they pause? The wasps? Yes, for a, like a quick second. Oh. Okay. Waste of X. I might be able to do this without even going to another island. If I manage to, um, get all the rocks. Okay. That's precisely how you fuck that up. You can get eight drops per rock. Yeah, if you're efficient. But right now, I'm, I'm efficient. I don't know what it is about this game that makes me have, like, really bad wordplay and puns. Let's let it go back into the pond where it belongs, the empty can. Wait, you got another DIY? I thought we already had a DIY from... Recycled can thumb piano. Mental. I... whatever, whatever, man. That sounds like you're just asking to cut up your fingers. Fingers gone. Yeah, after that, fingers just fucking obliterated, definitely. Okay, we have as much wood as we need for the store upgrade. There's still another rock on the island. We might have to actually go... Snail. Snail, I'm sorry to do this, but you have to, you have to leave. We did that one. Other animal will also will give you free iron and iron iron. One hundred percent cast iron grill. Louis just likes to show ass. Yeesh, I feel like I'm looking at something I really don't want to see. Huh? Oh, it's you. I, I thought a zombie invasion had started. Be careful shaking those trees, alright? What do you need, hoo-hoo-ha? 
<laughs> Word is you're getting stuff together to build a shop. Good hustle. I found something that might help things along. Here you go. Just gonna make those iron nuggets into some free weights, but having a shop sounds way cooler. The faster we get a shop, the faster I can just buy free weights. Go team Hoor Island. Hoo hoo. Hoor. I, this is my favorite music. There's nothing like the smell of a hot compress. It's the best thing after working my delts. Been into any cool fitness training programs lately? No. I see. I guess you have uh, more sit-down hobbies. Literally playing a video game right now, dude. Maybe we can get together for some step aerobic sometime. You'd have fun. Louis got good taste in music. Ring fit? Even then, you can't really just sit down. You have to get the fuck up a little bit. I mean, VR, you have to get the fuck up a little bit, too. Vinny, play ring fit. You know, you laugh, but ring fit's been sold out. The amount of ring fit sales have been astounding because of the stuff that's going on in the world. And I've considered actually booting it back up. Might be good. Vinny, how are your meatballs? They were actually really good. I still have two. They're frozen. I can unfreeze them and make a meatball sandwich. But they came out great. I talked about it last night. And I even gave my shitty recipe, too. Recycle can thumb piano. Costs a full iron. But I had one extra, so. Gotcha. I like that one of the um, animals actually helped. Well, they both helped. That's nice. Usually it's like the villager that has to take care of everything. Yeah, I mean, I got an axe and I got five iron. Not a lot of stuff, but it's a couple stuff. As a thank you, please take a tapestry, a folding chair, and a leopard tea. Oh. Vinny, people are selling li uh, Ring Fit for $200 on eBay. Yeah, I saw that. It's crazy. Since we have all the materials we need, we can start construction on the shop. We'd like you, the, a key figure in making this happen, pick out the perfect location for the new shop. Place the shop construction kit wherever you'd like and we'll get started on construction. outfit is fuck. Maybe I could just put it here. You know, I mean, a tree, I mean, you know, I'm being a little selfish because it's right next to my house, but... by leopard. I'll take the stripes. Let me imagine it. I don't want to remove the tree that I've already started building. That would remove it. I 
I mean, I don't plan on living here the whole damn time. I just, you know, we have to make bridges if the other animals are going to actually get to the shop. Um. Yeah, we can eventually, sure. You'll make a bridge tomorrow. You can build a bridge tomorrow. Craft a DIY workbench and put it in your house so you can craft with access to your storage. Not a bad idea. Yeah, I know you can dig up trees. Uh, I'm just thinking... We'll be a convenient spot, because if I'm gonna live on this island... ...in the middle... Maybe we can put Nook's Cranny against the wall here? Or against the, uh, the cliffside? right up here. Against the wall. Seems like a pretty good spot. I mean, it definitely ruins some of the majesty of the cliff, but it fits perfectly. Only one tree is removed. It's kind of, kind of nice there. I bet this island is about to become a whole lot livelier. So much for deserted island. Vinny, next you gotta build a GameStop. It's essential. So I've heard. The tapestries. We've got to check the tapestries. Put in storage, porridge, orange. That can rhyme any word with orange. People don't know if you can rhyme words with orange, but I can't do a hinge, orange, borange, scorings, storage, porridge. Vinny, is that a hanging sock? Yes, that's my hanging sock. Okay, now I can place a chair, and now finally my pawns can eat at a table and get a mood boost. I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. These men are pawns. I'll be streaming uh, RimWorld later. RimWorld and VR later, if anyone's, um, around. I'm assuming most of you will be. For better or worse. God damn it, we can't just drop that. Now I have one weed, so I have to sell the one weed. Not RimWorld in VR.
Tell you what, with the combination of RimWorld and VR, my dreams tonight are gonna be fucking weird. Gonna have a weird sleep. My hands won't be real and I'll be trying to micromanage pawns. Here you go, one clump of weed for 10 bells. Vinny, where do you think Animal Crossing could go next? Space. No Man's Sky Crossing. Different planets. No, um, I don't know. I, I mean, I've, I've had some ideas of what I thought a next-gen Animal Crossing would look like, which is... Just... Give me the ability to go third-person and first-person to look at things. Um... You know, some better online features, maybe a more... I'm not into MMOs, but maybe a, a closer experience to that. Where you could jump into, like, a hub and talk to people. I don't know. A uh, battle pass would be nice. Guns. You know, stuff like that. Yeah, battle pass. You can write that down. Tell John Tendo what I said. Thanks. Battle Royale with Animal Crossing. Everyone's hitting each other with an axe and a slingshot. Welcome to your one and only getaway. Oh, sorry, gateway to the skies. The Hoor Island Airport. Oh, it's you. Good timing. I just got a Nook Miles ticket from Tom Nook with Vine written on it, which makes it yours. If you want to use this ticket, you just gotta say the magic words. I want to fly. I want to get away. Roger. By the way, I got a Nook Miles ticket with your name on it behind the desk. Uh, I want to use the Nook Miles ticket. Roger. Okay. Time for takeoff. Scoot will be on this island chat. Dodo 1, this is Dodo Tower Wilbur. You copy, got a walker who needs wings over. Have a good flight, friend, and when you need to travel, just think, what would dodos do? We already made the, uh, go extinct comment. A beautiful island. We we definitely need to get Scoot here. Damn it, no Scoot. Who's this? Who's this chuckle fuck? Celia. I wasn't expecting to meet anyone on this tour. I'm Celia. And your vine from Hoor Island? I'm glad you stopped to talk to me. One thing I love about traveling is the chance to make new friends. I'm, it must be true what they say about how travel broadens your horizons. She's a bird close enough. Yeah, some ducks would have been nice. This change of scenery is giving me a new perspective on life back on my island. I like it well enough, but move to my island. Why not? That's such a great idea. Thank you for encouraging me. You know, it's weird. I get this game confused with RimWorld, so in my mind, whenever I recruit someone, I'm like, Oh, they can work. Great. What stats do they have? Can you shoot? When I ran into you, I never expected to be invited to live on your island unless you were teasing me. Do you really mean it, Feathers? Yeah, why not? Oh, this is so exciting. Can't wait to start packing up for my big move after this tour. If I remember right, I'm supposed to contact someone named Tom Nook about relocating feathers. Better do that before I forget. You might want to stand clear. Oh, excuse me. Stand clear.
So this is tropical. So this is like, it looks like there's summer stuff here. I may as well catch some fish. I missed an iron. Bluegill. Oh wait, I already had a bluegill. Oh, oh, I missed picking one up. Flimsy net. I wonder if it's gonna break. Please don't break. Yes. Paper kite butterfly. Do I read it, fly it, or spread it on toast? How about none of those things, you fucking sicko? That's gonna be a rock. Ah, it wasn't fast enough. Post 30s reaction time. Next Animal Crossing, there should be an option to input your age so that they can adjust the fish reaction time accordingly for old people. I know, I could just go to the other side of this and catch the fish. I know that. I know. I mean, the strategy for rocks in the old games was this. I think there was a better pattern. Because that prevents one of them from... The holes need to be in an L shape. One more to the left. I forgot. Two directly, just two behind you? Something like that, maybe? You only need two? Oh, this will probably work then. Yeah. Shovel instead. Shovel is faster. Is it timed? Yeah, it's timed. Eight. Eight's the max. Got it. Oak. Oak. Ladybug. Got it. Blathers is gonna be real fucking pissed. I'm gonna bring him a bunch of shitty bugs. Tarantula, ladybug. And what's the fruits on this island? Oh, it's more cherries. Can't get up that cliff.
I already have coconuts. I'll just bring them back and sell them, the ones that are here. See? Bass? Black bass? Man, I hope it's still raining back on my island. I want to catch that prehistoric fish. The seal length. It was a time before time. It's like, what does that even mean, movie trailer man? That doesn't mean anything. You're just saying words that sound cool together. Good. Yeah, I'm good at this fishing thing. Look at that skill at fishing. Angler. I'm an angler. I know the word angling. Sea butterfly. I already have that. That's new. Horse mackerel. I needed that one for a little while now, too. Oh, wait. Oh, that, that's gone. The, the sea mackerel, the horse mackerel thing is gone. Daily reset. Oh. That explains it. Also, um, Blue Bear didn't show up. Got that bug already. She will. Maybe a few more days. I can't wait. I can't wait to fill up all of my villager spots, and that way when Scoot wants to move in, he can't. And he has to zip-zoom the fuck back home. You gotta be squitting me. Vinny, you like Blue Bear? Not really. I just- I only have two islanders or villagers, so I figured... Fuck it, may as well. I mean, I don't know if I like Blue Bear. I've never had Blue Bear in an Animal Crossing game before, so... I guess we'll find out. Blue Bear's gonna be a pop star. How many have you recruited so far? I have two, and I'm recruiting two more that should be there soon. Shake the trees. Oh, you're right about that. Yeah, shake the trees. Maybe this time I will catch the bees. For me, anything yellow that flies is a bee. And that's a problem, because I know there's hornets, there's wasps. Gotcha. Yes! Caught a wasp. That's got a sting. This is why gamers are valuable. Our reflexes are, are a valuable asset to the world. Throwback skull radio, I love it. I don't even know what it looks like, and I can't wait to place that in my room. 
a skull radio. It sounds awesome. It sounds like something that would be in Doom. In the Doom Slayer's room. Haha, <laughs> I make movie called Doom. Oh wait, it's called Room. New Doom movie on the way after the success of Doom Eternal. They get Tommy to direct it just for shits and giggles. He calls it The Doom. This is a bad train of thought and joke. It's not even funny or interesting in any way. It's terrible. I do think, though, that someone should really play a very expensive practical joke on the world and give Tommy Wiseau, like, a dead property that was once very successful and have him direct it. Like Star Wars, for example. Okay, I have 50 million dollar budget. We buy 10 of the same camera. We, we have to get coverage. We shoot in 3D, we shoot in 48 frames a second. 4D. Chat, I have to do some ocean fishing for the, uh, seal-lanth. seal lamp. Hmm. This game just wants me to have a lot of sea bass and black bass. We have enough food. Much food. How many? I need to cl um, catch five clams, I think. Or, or sell five clams. I'm not really sure. Let's see. and collected. I just need to collect another two. I know you can make bait. With the clams, I will do that, in fact. I will do that. That was. I don't know. Spring played tricks on me. It was like, don't press the button. Don't press the button. Don't press the button. Then it pressed the button. We meet again, you know. Do you walk in the rain a lot? Came by for a chat. How's the fishing going? Still getting your feet wet? You know? I'm not great at fishing, but here's a tip. Take your time. Patience is key, which is exactly why I'm so bad at it. Don't you have any, like, chores you want me to do? What's up with you? Woof! Sorry about that, I slept fine, but it feels like I pulled an all-nighter, you know? Gotta figure out some way of getting my motor revved. Any ideas? Moop your butt at Puible. Exercise, huh? That's an idea. Didn't expect that from you, but it's not bad. Never been a huge fan of that stuff myself, but I gotta admit it gets the blood pumping, you know? Sure, I'll give it a shot. Tomorrow. Didn't expect it from me. Hmm? Hornimal Crossing.
speak. Worth it for the Nook Miles. Yeah, Nook Miles are a very good addition to this game. So I still need to sell 5,000 worth, so I can sell some squids, some bass, wasp nest, not the wasp, squid, sea butterfly, any of the things I had already. Oko nut. You can have this tire too, get that shit out of my inventory. Wasn't Coco like a gyroid? Sell fruit. That's easy. Catch bugs. Easy. Let's see if there's any bugs out. I mean, it's almost definitely a snail somewhere. Also, I also want to see what that skull radio looks like. I bet it's cool. Oh, you gotta hit a rock to get a pill bug. All right, let's take a look at the skull radio real quick. Yup, I love it. No songs. God damn it. I want that clown music. Yeah, that's my favorite thing that I have. That's the best. That's the best piece of furniture I've gotten in this playthrough so far. Easy. How did he get that? It was from a tree? Now I just need to find the angry scapula and um, a variety of other pieces and then I can build it into Skelly, the best villager. Oh, let me put this stuff away. Boy, the museum is going to be very, very happy with my contributions. Place your bugs and fish outside the museum. You're not wrong, I could have done that. I was afraid maybe the frog would have eaten them, though. Yeah, 
Yeah, I've seen- you can actually stack bugs too high, so I've seen people, like, there's a, a picture going around where it's just stacks of bugs all around the villager. The ATM sells music. Okay, I might do that then. Let me just do a little bit more fishing. Big fish. Big fish! Brian Johnson with a throat problem. I feel like Brian Johnson and even Bon Scott, ACDC's first frontman, like, are like birds. You know how birds have, like, little rocks in their throat? What, what are those things called? Sea bass. It's, a uh, in their, their gullet. Gizzards? I'm probably saying it wrong. They probably don't actually have, like, little pebbles in their throat, but it's something like that. I don't remember much from school. You have to give me a break. I was a fool, and I didn't pay attention in school. Don't do what I did, chat. Vinny, they do. It's, uh, it's their giz in their gizzard. Some eat gravel. They swallow pebbles. Holy fuck, really? Oh, so I kind of did get that right accidentally. Yeah, well, in order to qualify... Oh, I caught an anchovy. Stay away from my pizza. I agree. Um, in order to qualify for a frontman of ACDC, you have to actually have a gizzard. Not the king gizzard, but you need the pebbles in your throat. You need to practice for years. I'm almost positive. Brian Johnson couldn't sing for a while because they were doctors were afraid that he would lose his hearing, but apparently they fixed it up somehow. I don't know how, but he's singing again. Oh shit, look, it's my shirt! Barred knife jaw. This fish and I match. Keep fish as pet. So chat, yesterday it was like 74 degrees Fahrenheit, or so, here in New York. And, um, even though, you know, we're in the stay home quarantine thing, you could still go outside, go to a park, go for a walk, that kind of shit. And, uh, instead I just played Animal Crossing. And now it's like 54. Which isn't bad. I mean, I could still tolerate that for sure. Might actually end up going outside for a little bit. But, um... I say outside, I mean like far away from humans. But, um... Man, I missed out on the really nice weather. He's going to visit his- the local dumpster, said someone in chat. Again, sounds like a joke, but we were known for the largest dump here on Staten Island, on the East Coast. P possibly the United States, possibly the, the fucking world? Or something? I always forget. But yeah, we had a dump that was famous. And boy, you would smell it across all of Staten Island if it was a particularly spicy day. I mean, that was when I was real young, so that's something that I haven't had to think about or deal with in years. But, um... 
Yeah, we, we do have that reputation. Someone said New Jersey is not a dump. Stop it. I literally did not say the words New Jersey. I'm from Staten Island, New York. You weirdo. Also, it's not. I like New Jersey. I defend it. But I tell you what, Elizabeth, New Jersey, and Newark kind of fucking smell. As soon as you cross over that bridge, you get some pretty bad smells. But there's beautiful- I've said that on stream plenty of times, but there are beautiful parks. There's a lot of really great nature. There's, uh, good restaurants. There's- there's stuff in Jersey that is nice. There's a giant mall that's going to fail now because it opened... Chat, Google the American Dream Mall. There's a Spongebob-themed roller coaster. There's, like, a Nickelodeon little theme park in the mall. The stores were set to open March 19th. And this mall was already a huge risk. And it was so much money to build this thing. And it went way over construction. Like, projected time. March 19th. I don't know what happened. I, I doubt they opened. Why would they? Now is... Fuck. Now is definitely not the time to open a mall. Malls are already failing across the United States. Like, really badly failing. So then you open this giant mall with an indoor ski resort. True. Nickelodeon theme park. True. And a bunch of restaurants, a bunch of stores, and a bunch of other shit, too. Ice skating rink. And you open it, specifically the store portion, during a fucking pandemic. And this thing is huge. The amount of real estate that they have at this mall... ...is insane how massive this mall is. And now I'm predicting in three years we're gonna see it on like Bright Sun Films, or Sal, or whatever YouTube channel explores abandoned malls. Like, man, this could have been such a cool mall. It's just bad luck, but they already went way over schedule, so... This thing was supposed to be done, like, four years ago. Defunct land, perhaps? I mean, who knows what channel it would be on. I... I kind of wanted to succeed because, again, I like the idea of, like, a Nickelodeon-themed, uh... You know, roller coaster and theme park and all that stuff. Indoors, too, so you can go all year round. Seems fun. Like, you can ride Spongebob. <laughs> but then... You know, then there's all these stores, and stores aren't doing so good in malls, so... I don't know. Why are there roller coasters in malls? I'm European. Um, <laughs> there aren't usually. This is a bit of an exception. But the idea is, uh, because malls are failing thanks to online shopping, the idea, apparently, is to turn the mall into an experience, like a place you can bring your family and actually do something at that you can't get at Amazon. I already have a snail chat. It's fine. Oh, right, I need one more insect. So, yeah, they built this mall specifically with an ice skating rink, an amusement park. Oh, shit. Football fish. Some countries call it a soccer fish. Funny. And, um... Like a giant indoor ski resort. Or, s like, ski slope. I like that fish a lot, by the way. That was a cool one. I, I remember driving by this place for years. It's by the Meadowlands. And I was like, what the fuck is that strange building that, like, kind of juts out at a, you know, 45-degree angle? 
It just looked like an eyesore. It was terrible. I was like, what, what is this thing? And it was just nothing for eight years, nine years. I'm like, There's, I don't know what this is. And then I find out it's part of a, a mall experience. I'm like, oh. It's near Jersey City. It's, it's very close to Jersey City. It's still not open. They delayed it because of the virus, but also because they aren't finished building stuff. Yeah, that's not exactly surprising. I didn't think they were going to meet their deadline anyway. Smart, though, to delay. I mean, a lot of businesses are going to get fucked from all this. Again, I know we're playing Animal Crossing and, and you guys are watching streams to escape some of that, but... There's still ways to support, like, small businesses and local businesses. Like, maybe buy a gift card if you don't want to go there. I don't know, there's probably ways to do it. I just don't know what they are. I feel like... A lot is uncertain. From this point fo forward. And, um, if malls were already doing terrible... They're probably in a huge slump after this. Don't be surprised if... I think it was like, the statistic was 50% of all malls have closed across America. Don't be surprised if after this, that rises to like 80%, 75%. Scary. Well, all I can say is this. I'm doing okay. I've got lots of food. I've been cooking meatballs and stuff. I hope you're all doing okay. I wish you all the very best. I can offer you an egg in these trying times, but... Otherwise, I got Animal Crossing and Doom and Half-Life Alex on Monday, so that's the best I can do for now. We're also still going to be mixing the new album. Just remotely. Like, I'll be able to... Uh, he's going to send me songs. I can, you know, make changes or talk about what changes to be made. So we're going to continue to do that. I think production is going to be um, delayed on the vinyl, for sure. But at least we'll have a mix. So, I'm keeping busy with that. So, um, are we sure that I can get that fish? The seolanth? Create fish with crafting table. Someone said I got two last night. Coelacanth? It's just incredibly rare. Alright, we'll go- we'll go one more time. It's rare, but you can pull it off. I wanna do it, I wanna get it. Four two four zero bells. For the amount of, um, fish I just sold, that's a little bit low, but... I don't think daces are worth a whole lot, and sea bass definitely aren't, because they're so common. Coelocanth only appear when it's raining. I finally figured- I, I finally know how to pronounce it. It took this long. But yeah, um, I'm gonna need a better... Not a better, probably a new fishing rod. I mean, these tools last way longer, it seems, which is great, but... I feel like... 
This rod's probably going to break soon. So the shadow for the coelocanth is, is going to be huge, yeah? Like, even bigger than this. Or about this. No, it's about this? Okay. This could be it. It's a sea bass. Fuck you, sea bass. I give this a C minus. Also, considering I'm streaming way earlier than usual. Hi, Europe. Hope you're doing okay. Europe. Why you are P? Europe. Even though I don't stream at a really good time for European folk, uh, I'm often told that they wake up before work or whatever, and they, they catch like a half hour of my streams and then get disgusted and go to work, and it's better, you know? Because that way they can watch the streams, get disappointed, and then at least work is better than my streams. So that's cool. We get only the art usually before work. Unless you work real early. God, we just really... This game does not want me to find any fish right now. Oh fuck, Gulliver! Way anchor. Check its blood pressure. Who's your provider? Yeah, yeah. What an unexpected surprise. A vast storms are coming. Brace yourselves, lads. Hard to starboard. Tough to port. Stern to stern. Honk shoe, honk shoe. Snoring sounds, etc. <laughs> Murph. Ah, uh, you have my pickled herring pizza. I already tipped online, so... Wait, I don't see a pizza. Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? Alright, Neil Breen. Oh, hang on. I know that one. I'm none Oliver than Gulliver, a seafaring seagull of the Seven Seas. Were you the one who just kept nudging me? Just now? No, thanks for the wake-up call. Those tasty hallucinations sent to sneak up on me. Can you find it in your heart to forgive a waterlogged bird brain? I'm reading your vac vacant expression as a yes. Guess I dozed off and tumbled overboard again. That's an endearing character trait of mine. My crewmates love it when I slip over the bow. Uh, don't worry, the fellas will be here to rescue me in no time. Got an ace up my wing, you see? I'll just call for help using my handy dandy, uh, uh, my, uh, oh my gosh. Handy dandy communicator is broken. This isn't handy or dandy. Oh, sardines, it's all cracked and busted. Looks like it's missing a few communicator parts, too. This means. I have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. Mm, that could take a while. I've only got enough nautical puns to last for a couple hours. I'm begging you here, will you look for my communicator parts, please? Oh, this is completely new for Gulliver. That's good, really? Wow, I haven't gotten a reception this sweet and bubbly since I washed up on, uh... Old Coral Cola. The communicator parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. Just missing five parts. If you find them, I'll try to cram them back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I'd better stay here and watch for the boat. Someone said, we can read, bro. Are you new here? They also said, to be honest, don't care. Shh, bro, stop talking about malls. What are you watching a stream for? Do you not know how this works? <laughs> what is going on? I believe in you, partner. I don't have much of a choice. Bro, stop. I'm not here for commentary, bro. <laughs> That's hilarious. I like this new Gulliver mechanic. 
I don't think I was much of a fan of previous Gulliver. Oh, fuck. Well, there goes the fishing rod. I guess we'll have to find out what reward Gulliver has for us. But, um, okay, so... I don't know if there's any indication of the parts. They're in the clam holes. It's kind of weird. All right, fishing rod. The squirting clam holes. Okay, cool. It's not dirty unless you make it so. Make it so. Man, that Star Trek Picard TV show, they should have made it sunk. I'm so sorry. Okay, now that dude was right. I should really stop talking. After that one? Oh, that was bad. That might have been my worst one yet. Like, I'm watching this show, right? And I am kind of, admittedly, just watching just to see the actors as their characters. Or rather, as themselves, right? It's nice to see Riker, it's nice to see Picard, it's nice to see Brent Spiner and all that stuff. But the real problem is, I find myself hate-watching. Because the story is just so uninteresting and bland and all the other characters. It's just not, it's not... Good. I mean, we're, we're reaching a point in the show now where they're, they're wrapping it up, and I'm like, wow, I don't care about any of this. It's just faux epic. Javaj, Javaj, Javaj. Those are my favorite characters in the show. Javaj, Javaj. But yeah, one episode left. Already renewed for season two, which is, uh, don't worry, everything's fine here. Our viewer numbers are very high, we promise. They're not. Just let Picard rest. Just, just leave him at the poker table. <laughs> That's all you need to do, just have him play poker with Riker, and Jordy, and Troy, and Worf, and Data, and Crusher. Just, just have him play poker and that'll be it forever. Someone said I don't understand hate-watching. Yeah, I don't usually. Honestly, I, I usually just quit shows if I'm not in invested, but this is very... These characters are very important to me. And there are threads of interesting things that I still kind of like, and I have to see it through now. But... Vinny missed one. I have five pieces. Someone said I hate-watch Vinny. Kappa. All right, now don't include a Kappa and you actually have real human. Hey, did you find him? Oh, that's them. Those are definitely my communicator parts. Come here, you little troublemakers. All right, pieces are crammed back in there. Let's see if this thing can send a message. Gulliver crammed a bunch of broken pieces into a phone with his wing. I'm sure this will work. Ahoy there, crew. It's me, your brother from another rudder. Oh, God. So listen, it happened again. Can you swing by to pick me up? Sending my coordinates now. Gulliver, over and out. There, that should do it. 
You're the best. Thanks for all your help. I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in a few days. I'm going to send you something that'll knock your flippers off. Just make sure you put some flippers on before you open it, okay? I'm safe. Nothing to do now but pace back and forth for the next few hours. Better get started. As long as my communicator works again, everything will be all right. Until next time, of course. Let's see here. No replies yet. I bet my shipmates are already on their way over here. It says they read my message. Yep. Any minute now. I have to do that ten more times to get the next reward. Holy fuck. Left on red. So sorry, Gulliver. It's the puns. I know better than most people. It's the puns. They don't want to hear it. They're sick of them. Sick of it. Absolutely sick of it. Frog, tell me thing. You keep coming up to me and not saying much. Did something happen? Do you need to talk about it? Yeah, there was this Gulliver. Your striped tea just screams springtime. Love it, you know. Thank you. Do they still have, like, little chores? Like, I want to find someone's missing glove. Not yet. After a while, they do. Okay. I've pretty much run out of things to do today in Animal Crossing. Expect these streams to, if I just do like a daily check-in, expect them to not last this long usually. But the game is still new and wonderful, so I'm I'm still invested, but daily check-in streams might end up being a little shorter. There's just not a lot to do right now, depending on I don't know, maybe more things unlock. I know they will. More things will unlock. There will be more things to do, but Vinny, get another ticket. I mean, I could. I'll save that. One island visit per day seems fine. Alright, five more fish. That's it. Just five more, chat. I get that coelacanth, I know it. Four more. Got any fishing from here? No, not really. Sick in the Gulliver. Wait, someone's saying they want me to grind up clams, throw them in the water, so I can catch more fish. Sounds legit. That's bait, Vinny. Ah, uh, it is! You're right! There it is. The coelacanth.
It's a sea bass. It's, it's a CeeLo Green. So that was four. Here's, here's number five. This is definitely not going to be it, but maybe it'll be something new. Who knows? I mean, I am definitely working on getting a fuckload of miles for this, right? So that's number five. Let's let's see what the Nook Miles is for fishing. I need a hundred. I'm sixty of a hundred. Huh. Okay. So we're gonna do, um, one more for good luck with the appropriate size shadow. Don't feel little fish, please. That's not the appropriate size shadow. Big shadow. I need big shadow. Come on. This is the most boring thing anyone can ever do in a video game, and yet... 8.5k. Excuse me. This is the power of Animal Crossing. Which is why I have to sometimes step outside of myself and, like, I know I enjoy this game, I know I enjoy the series, but I have to, like, put myself in the position of other people who don't play Animal Crossing. They're like, dude, bro, what the fuck is the big deal? I mean, I don't know. I tried explaining it yesterday and I... I don't think I did a good job. Bro, stop talking, please! No. Where is it? Sand castle. It's cool. I mean, that kind of sums it up in some ways, right? There's a fucking balloon floating by. You shoot down the balloon, you get a sandcastle. Not much more to it than that. Then he put it on the sand. It's kind of... kind of cool. I might just, like, leave it here. Vinny, is there a reason you ain't going to the other beaches? Um, just so I don't have to switch from my fishing rod. Just pure laziness. Then again, I did find Gulliver, so I may as well... Yeah, fuck it, let's go to the next beach. 
there was a bridge, I would have, you know, just easily get over there, but it's not the appropriate sized fish. That is the appropriately sized fish. Here it is. Seal camp. It's, um, a red carp. Red snapper. I've already got one of those. Alright, one more, one more go around the whole beach. <laughs> God damn it. Where is this fucking thing? Sell fish. I will. How long have I been streaming? Two hours and twelve minutes. Interesting. Interesting. I was planning on only streaming this for like an hour and a half. Interesting. Why not make some fish bait? Yeah. Yeah, just at this point. Next time. If I need to do some fishing, I'll make it, but I, I got lazy. I do need one more insect for the miles, so... But yeah, there's definitely going to come a time where I play some of this game on my own, off-stream. I'll try not to, like, do too much major shit. But I really, um, you know, there are times where I may want to get some items and stuff. That is a mental big fish. It's an olive flounder that's not the pits. Not a coelacanth, but still pretty massive and cool. And I'll take it. I had those bugs already. Here it is, the coelacanth. Last try. Coelo base. Bass. One more try. <laughs> One more try. Here it is. It's the big boy again. Alright, well, worth a shot. One day I'll get that damn, uh, that, that fish, that damn, damn, their fish thing. Red snapper in storage already. Any of these new? Just that olive flounder, I think. Wrong bot. Yep, I got one. Put them on the record player's skull. I would love to. I have no songs. Make some. I don't make good songs.
Here, have a shitty can. Apparently you can buy some music from here. KK Lament. Yeah, you know what? Sure. <laughs> That's it's perfect for the Skull record player, but I'm not gonna get that for a, a couple days. Didn't I need to uh, buy a couple more things? Spend bells to buy items. I need to buy... I need to spend more bells. 200 nook miles. Consume. Be a consumer. Uh, be a good consumer. Alright. Alright, fine. One more thing I'll do. One more task. What do I need to do? Plant a fucking tree? I need to plant a goddamn tree. Hang on a minute, chat. Hang on, be right with you. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. This is why I don't stream during the day a lot, because distractions are plenty. Um, plant a tree. Sell fruit, catch a centipede. Fuck the centipedes, not, not, not gonna do that. Actually, no, there's a million other reasons why I don't stream during the day. So that's, like, a minor one. So don't even... Don't even worry about that. I need to buy... Um... I'll just buy one tree and then I'll, I'll buy uh, one other stupid thing. Buy some DIY stuff? Let's see, what's for sale? I don't think I need any of these recipes. This is all... This is all just... No. I'm good. Just gonna buy a... fucking... camp stove. Don't even want it. But... the nook miles are important. Got that. And then I have one more thing I need to do. Well, two more things. It just never ends. You, you, you just play this game forever. Sell some cherries. Get more Nook Miles. When you eat food like fruit, you find yourself more energized. Yep, I know. I've been digging up trees since I was, I was born. And then, just gotta plant this one tree. I'm gonna plant it over here, near its friend. And then I just reap the benefits, the rewards. Grow fruit trees, chop wood. Man, those are easy. 
I knew it was gonna happen. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Endless tasks. It's like how I get addicted to RimWorld, but for different reasons. Like, RimWorld, there's too much to do. In this game, you just kind of focus on one little thing at a time. But, yeah, I mean, all the big things are done. Like, the rest of this is just chopping and planting and catching fish and bugs, but... All the, you know, more interesting tasks are probably done until tomorrow, so, you know, I'll just stop playing now. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop playing, but first... save. I'm gonna stop. I'm good. No, I have to get some stuff done today, so I'm gonna get some stuff done. I'll be back later with RimWorld and VR streaming. So... You know, thanks for watching the early Animal Crossing stream. A couple things happened, but it was mostly just chill. I enjoyed it. Animal Crossing will probably be daily for a little while, for the foreseeable future. And, uh... Even if it's just a little bit of progress each day... You know, it'll be cool. Animal Crossing does that, man. You get extra streams... when Animal Crossing comes out. So... Thank you for stopping by. I'll do the art later with the rest of the stuff. So if you want to stop by and watch some streams later, RimWorld is a lot of fun, for me at least, and uh, VR streaming so I can make a fool of myself again. But I got some other interesting games that you might enjoy, including Super Hot VR. Alright, thanks everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be good, stay safe, and uh, see you later. Bye.